In this video, I'll show you how to look up city data from zip code in Microsoft Excel. We'll be able to look at some challenges you might run into, for example, missing zeros in the zip code, and how to solve those challenges. This type of lookup is a two-step process. In the first step, we'll convert Excel range into the table, and in the second step, we'll actually do the lookup. To convert Excel data range into the table, make sure to use Ctrl-T shortcut. What you see on the screen has already been converted into the table. So we have zip as a separate value, and right now zip is the uh, text value. To do that, we need to use new feature of Excel uh, called uh, geographical data. To use this feature, we need to navigate to the data tab, select our zip column and click on geography data. It will basically go to Bing and will try to uh, convert and determine if this is a valid zip code, which it did with some exceptions. For some zip codes, it wasn't able to do that, so we need to manually resolve it. I'll show you how to do it for one zip code. Uh, we just click on the question mark and it shows we need help with this text. And here in the uh, data selector, it shows us the zip code. Uh, it's only four digits. In US, zip code is five digits, so we need to add a leading zero and then we will click enter and it says uh, that this is 07631 is Bergen County, New Jersey, which is correct. We click uh, select and um, this resolve this. Uh, ideally, you would want to go and resolve all of this. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to do it because our step is to really add a city and to do that, we need to keep this column G highlighted and then click the plus sign, and that's the coolest new feature of Excel. Ultimately, what happened, it went to Bing, queried each of these values, determined that this is a valid zip code, and now it knows what the city is, and we click Add Column, and we know that it can add city, which is one, one of the values, and uh, you see for the ones where it was correctly recognized, the value of the city was determined accurately. We can obviously resolve all these errors manually, but there's uh, another way to uh, add leading zeros in Excel. So let's roll back by using undo for each of the steps. And before converting it into geography data type, I am going to uh, add leading zeros uh, to the zip column. To do that, I'm going to select the column. I'm going to select Control-1, which opens up Format Cells uh, box. And then I'm going to click Custom. In the type box, I'm going to type five zeros, which would represent the format that it's all numeric and it should maintain five digits. I'm gonna click OK and you see that it added uh, leading zeros uh, for the values that were missing. And now we can convert zip into geography data type and hopefully it would resolve all the errors and you see it did resolve all the errors. And now we can add a city and we'll expand city column and the only place it didn't resolve it is for the this value. So we would need to look into this, but looks like for the remaining zip codes, it was able to successfully resolve and find the city. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. For links and resources mentioned in this video, make sure to check the description. To learn more on the topic, make sure to check out my eBooks and online training courses. All the best on your Excel interview and assessment test. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.